Hello, today we'll be continuing on the series on Scala. We'll be looking at strings, we'll be looking at uh, assessing variables. We'll also be looking at creating multi line statements. In my first lecture, I distinguished between val and val. VAL is used for immutable variables. So let's say val x equals, let's assume I want to greet, knowing everybody. And then we want to assess, let's assume we want to assess the first element. So it will be x. I would use comments today. Print the first element. Let's assume we want to want to print the length. That's how many characters are here? The length of x, which is a variable here. Okay, so I'll also introduce x dot pick. Let's say two. And what that does is in the letters are from the left to the right. So when you say take two, you are saying take the first two because you are reading from the left to the right. So it prints the first two letters from the left. And then the opposite of that be x dot up. So let's assume we want to drop good below. So that one, two, three, four. So it will print all. Characters except the first four. So let's run and see the results. All right. So Print line X zero. I said it will print the first letter, which is G. This is G here. Print line X dot length. That's the length of this good morning, everybody. So that's 22. Print X dot take two. I said it will take the first two, G O. And that is G O. And then X dot drop four. We wanted to remove good, right? To be morning, everybody, and that's what is done here. So this is an example of how to manipulate strings within Scala. Of course, there are other methods you can make reference to within uh, the string objects. So now let's look at how to create multi-line statements in Scala. So let me remove everything here. Let's assume for x. So to create a multi-line statement, this is what you do. Val x equals. We are going to put three quotation marks. One, 
two. I'm intentionally removing the double quotes that the system automatically puts. All right. I'm now going to write. This is how you create a multi-line statement scala. Well, since we put three quotation marks here at the beginning, we have to put at the end too. So, okay. So we can now say print line. What do we want the system to do? Print line X. All right, so this is how you create a multi-line statement in Scala. This is it down here. But you'll notice it is not starting, the multi-line is not starting under this. So how do we ensure it starts under this? We take it to the extreme left. So if we run it now, it's now directly under object. It should be now under this. All right, so it's now under this. This is how you create a multi-line statement in Scala. So, of course, um, this, this is very common even in other languages. All right, so now we will now look at how to assess variables and then slot them into strings that are constants. So, I would say, let's assume thing because and our age because thing. So how do we now I now want to say the author's name is I want the system to now put Sholosh now on. And eight is I want the system to put 15. So this is how you do, you do it. Now we are going to use the S keyword. S keyword. Then the double quote. The author's name is now, you now use the dollar sign. For those who are familiar with, for example, PHP, you are used to using the dollar sign and some other languages. Name. And age is dollar sign again. And then age. Then we end double quote. So this should be able to say the author's name is Shola Oshino and age is 15. The author's name is All right. So the author's name is Shola Oshinawa and age is 15. So that is it. He's done that. So uh, I would, I would, okay, let me introduce 
comparison operators. So this time we are going to be making references to numbers. I would use VAR how x equals 10, how y equals 15. So print x equals y. will print true if x equals y, else it will print false. Print x greater than equals y. So this will print true. If x is greater than y, else if you print false. So because of time, let's just run this to alone. All right. So false, false. Now x is not equals to y. That's why it is false here, and x is not greater than y. So let's quickly change this to x less than or equals to y so that one of it will return true. All right, so x of course is less than y. So is returned true. So finally, what I want to introduce is um, sequence. How to use sequence in Scala. So var x sequence capital letter S E Q. So sequence is just a way to let Scala know that this is a sequential sequential set of numbers. Now you don't have to put them in any particular order. For example, I would start with, let's say 15 and go to uh, 30 and come to 10 and go to 18 and go to two, for example. All right, so now let's see how we can now get like the maximum, the minimum, and maybe the sum of this sequence. So again, we would use the S keyword so that we would combine it, we would assess these variables and then combine it into a text string, it, a constant that is, of course, a string. So S. Let me remove this for now. S and with the maximum, the maximum number is so. This is what we do. Where is our dollar sign? And the curly bracelet. Then x dot max. We close the curly bracelet and then curly brace and then put the double quote back. This end largest number. So let's quickly test for other ones. The minimum number 
is x dot m i n. So this will print the lowest. And then finally, let's try uh, the summation. The sum of all numbers is x dot. You guess right? Sum. This will print the summation. All right, so let's run it. As a cute. All right. So that's it. So the maximum number is 30. So if we look at 15, 30, 10, 18, 2, 30 is the maximum. Then the minimum number is 2. And then the sum of all numbers is 75. So because of time, that's the end of today's lecture on Scala. We looked at uh, strings, we looked at um, sequence, we looked at accessing string elements, we looked at accessing variables and putting it inside constants so that uh, um, it can now make more sense. We also finally looked at uh, multi-line statements, how to create multi-line statements in Scala. Thank you for your time and see you.